All right, welcome back, everybody. You've been drifting for quite some time now, Lady Mother. I fear that you soon may leave us. Riften has problems of its own. Now is not the time for the exploration and discovery. I'm relieved to hear you say that. If you were to leave, I'd miss you. Erin, I owe you my life. It would take a threat to all of Skyrim for me to depart. Aw, lovers quarrel. And yes, my phone just started. Uh. Okay, let's try this again. I don't have anything to eat. Yes. Hope this helps. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. I had to listen to my stupid phone. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of She Plays Skyrim. Now, I don't know what happened, but it's possible I might have lost some footage. I haven't gotten around to editing it just yet, but I think I couldn't really find where I went into the Thieves Guild and talked to the guy. Basically, the only thing that's missing is I told him, you know, I'm interested in joining the Thieves Guild, and he's like, well, okay, if you're interested in joining the Thieves Guild, then all you have to do is um, beat up a few people and steal their money. And I was like, okay, I'm totally cool with that. I don't see why not. And so, um... As well as that, I also went through the rest of the place and I got myself some uh, uh, gloves of the Pugilis. I'm going to unequip my bow because, oops, and I don't want healing either. I want to have my fists. Um, this way I can beat them up without any issues. I'm going to beat the shit out of people. And we have uh, Mr. Feindel here and he will be following us around. And you know what? Uh, you can wait here. Still here. Because I have no need for you right you now. You go on ahead. Well, actually, follow me because you out? probably have a lot of crap Let's on you, and I need to sell it because I need to make some room. I know that my room is just a little bit limited. Um, so yeah, okay. Now the first person on our list of people that we have to beat up. Let me put my dukes away so that I don't have to beat any uh, flies up or anything. I think it might even be too late at night to actually beat some people up. Is this place open? Yes, it is. Okay, uh, let's double check with the quest, shall we? We will go to our journal. Uh, we have to collect Helga's debt, Bercy Honey, and Kirava's debt. Now, I really I didn't want to beat Kirava. Right here. Kirava? Here for a room or something to drink? I've got a message for you. I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. Oh, that's too bad. It was you never a request. You. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. Yeah, I know, and I feel no pity. Hoist the flag and then celebrate with me. Don't say I didn't warn you. On, give it your best shot. Oh, you want to take me on, you old fucking bat? <laughs> Do Kid. something. Please stop. I'll pay. Take it. Good. Good. I'm glad we could reach an agreement. Huh. Now what did you want? I uh, already paid you. Uh, let's see here. Nope, that's about it. I can't stand this city. It's impossible to make a decent living here. I know. I know. Maybe I'll come back later and use your inn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. Oh, poor widow guy. I feel no pity! I'm just an evil bitch, and I'm going to beat the crap out of anybody who doesn't. Oh, wait, I don't want to go there. No. Who else do we owe? Uh, okay, we need Bercy Honeyhand and Helga's debt. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna click that and undo that, and now it'll tell us where to go properly in the town. I guess this person's here. Yay! It's open! Open for business and open for fist fights and open for me to take your money. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. What did you want? Oh, you're gonna give me that attitude, are you? Well, I have a message. I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Then I'll have to pay in more than just coin. We'll see about that. Oh, now you're gonna fight, huh? I am the brawling master. Just letting you know. Keep those hands up. I'm sorry. What? Here, take your damn coin and get out of here. Ah, thank you. 
Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. <laughs> oh, I guess I can overlook it just this once. Ooh, hello. Statue of Diabella. Well, I better not steal it just in case I get caught. I'm I might catch steal it later. I mean, what kind of thief would I be if I didn't steal it? Joining the thieves guild and not stealing something. Hello, Mr. Guard. The pro pond prawn. My husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time worrying about Riften and not enough about himself. Oh. Oh, what do you got? The Wabadak? The Wabadak. Uh Wabajack, 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 what is that, a poem? Uh, that doesn't teach me anything. The City of Stone. What is the City of Stone? I don't know. Nor do I really care. Ooh, surviving a horker attack. What the hell is a horker? I haven't seen that thing yet. Okay, I'm gonna slowly go through this. Wow, it's a horker tusk. Alright, that's about that. Alright, and you, man. Oh no, you're the one from Brynjolf's outfit. Oh, yep. There's no need for that. I know why you're here. Ah. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. You're oh, a good I man. Look, I even have the payment I owed. Here, take it. Good job. I didn't even have to kick your ass. Because you knew I'd kick your ass. Good boy. Yes, you are. Alrighty. I suppose I... Gods, it's true, isn't it? What is? A dragon has attacked Whiterun. Ugh, really? How could men bring down such a beast? Eh, uh, it's just mostly me. My bow and arrow. Uh, the other guys were just a distraction while I took it down. And you're a pussy. No one has a need for a pussy like you. Open the rat away. Alrighty. Hey, bear skin. That's kind of nasty. Alright, man, I've collected the debts. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Yep. Best of all, you did it clean. Uh huh. I like that. Uh huh. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Yeah. Well, here's what well, they owe us. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Yes, you do. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Ah, what's next Judging then? From how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. Good. We need people like you in our outfit. Uh huh. Uh, is there more gold the spirit. where that came from? Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. Uh-huh. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Yeah, it's because I'm awesome. But I have What's to ask. Your mind? Well, word is your outfit isn't doing too well, We've is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Really? Tell you what. You keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Yeah, good fair job. Enough? That's fair, I guess. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Awesome! Maybe you better listen to Mercer and Brigno first. We can talk later. We can talk later. So, you're Brigno's new protege, eh? Yep, don't well, talk to me. Like much to me. Oh, you want to you wanna bet? I can show you that I am. I am the ultimate. I am the ultimate! Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Oh, I guess. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Don't 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 take it offensively. Don't take it offensively, man. You walk too slow and you are going too slow. Just this way. Keep following me. I suppose I will stand here. Oh, wait, Feindel, come over here. Come here. You I'm right by Wait. You go on ahead. Sit. Wait, boy. Good boy. All right. Let's wait until Brynjolf's here before we begin. Yes, it worked. Look at. 
I added texture packs. You didn't need to say a word. I heard you loud and clear. He should look familiar to, any, to anyone else. You play by the rules, you walk away rich. Yep. You break the rules and you lose your share. I only put two mods on and I swear I'm not cheating. What we say, when we say. Uh, I don't like that. Do I make myself clear? Oh, I guess. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to what Mercer has to say. I am listening! Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Golden Glow? I like the name of that. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Okay. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? I've seen a lot of thieves come and go, but I've never seen anyone as good as me. Grignol assures me. Oh, is that a challenge, Mr. Ezio Wannabe? Welcome to the thieves guild. Ah, well, thank you. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. Oh, you bet your ass, but it's gonna be mostly my coin. So, how do I get my cut? Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. Uh. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Sweet. Oh, and talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Tanelia. Okay. Tell me about the Golden, Golden Glow, Glow job. Is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. Oh, uh, what's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. Damn it. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Uh, makes sense, I guess. Aye. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. So, uh, what do we do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Well, uh, I you can... watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Trust me, I can do awesome. No, I don't want that. I want gold and I want this and I want this. And you can keep everything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta come Getting with me. Out? I suppose. Let's get going. Ah, <sighs> Fangdale, we're gonna have to. Uh... Woo! More stuff. I like that. All eyes are on you, lass. Yeah, I know. Ooh, water breathing, gold, and more lock picking. I won't disappoint you, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! I am the least disappointing person in the world. I don't want any of the other crap. Okay, let's see here. What do we got in here? I like how they don't mind that I'm taking all of their uh, lockpicks, arrows. Huh. That could stay in there. Wait. Huh. Yeah, okay. Come here a second. What, me? A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. Ah, Can yeah, no, I have that effect on people. Just wanted to let you know. Come find me if you need more marksman training. Yeah, whatever. I have my own marksman of of teachiness. Hey, there's a book down there. Mercer, I'd consider it a personal favor if I could once again utilize. Ties Sinric's unique skills for a delicate situation in the Cedar Mines. A close friend has been incarcerated in that horrible place, and I should like him freed as soon as possible. I'd recommend Sinric avoid the forsworn element that's prevent prevalent within the mine and stick to as simple an escape plan as possible. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Somebody has been taken prisoner. The guild! This is the symbol for the guild! Wait, wait. Uh, this means the place is as safe as Flagon's cistern. If you see this shadow mark, someone from the guild is nearby for certain. Oh, cool. 
Uh, safe. We usually leave this landmark when we're scouted. Um, and found a safe way around something. A hallway without traps or maybe a house that's already cleared out. If you see one of these, head the way it's pointing and you'll be fine. Danger! If you see this shadow mark, head the other way or take your or take life in, your life in your own hands. It means there's something ahead or beyond that door that wants to turn you inside out. Ah, that's nice. Escape route. Now, on the rare occasion, it'd be better a rare occasion if you want to work in the guild, that you find yourself in jail. Look for this little beauty. You can see this shadow mark and escape in just a few steps away. That's nice. Protected. We put these shadow marks on places we don't want you to go. As in, stay out of there or there's going to be boot... A boot up the backside. These people are under the guild's protection and we should never be robbed or assaulted. Ah, fence. This should quickly become your favorite shadow mark. The person near this mark will buy your hard-earned stolen goods for a fair price. And thieves cachet. Who, who says we can take and never give back? If you find this shadow mark near a chest or maybe a hollowed log, you're in for a surprise. A gift from the guild for the thief in the field. Whoever said membership didn't have its privileges. Loot! There's something near this shadow mark worth stealing. It saves you from breaking into a place only to find the people don't even have two septum to rub together. Empty. The opposite opposite of the loot tra uh, shadow mark. Pass on this place. There's nothing inside. I see. I will take that because it will prove useful later on. I'll have to keep it on me though because it seems like something I wouldn't remember. Uh, reserve restore thirty. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that and that. All right, you can keep your damn fucking uh, drink. An alchemy table. Um. Let's see here. I don't want to leave just yet. What's this way? Is this the way back? No, this is the way to the training center. Oh yeah! There's stuff here. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, nope, nope, nope. A nope. little bit more. Oh my god, we can do this! Come on! This is novice. Money! And boots. I don't want that crap. I'll need the boots when I get better at enchanting. Fuck! Aha! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, no, no. This way. Here we go. There we go. I am the fucking master. And I know I say that every single time, but... I mean, come on. Every Let's Play I've seen of this game so far, people are like so fucking terrible at lockpicking. They don't seem to know the secret. It's actually really easy. Uh, yeah. As soon as I say, eh, it's not that hard, I go ahead and jinx myself. Easy does it! Yes! All for 131 gold and a ruby! And a level up! That's always good. <laughs> All right, that one's empty. This one is at that. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, a little bit up. Come on. There we go. Yay! Lock picking increase for sixteen fucking gold. Okay, so it's over here a little bit. Nope. Oh, come on. A little bit, a little bit, like. Okay, maybe a little lower. Nope, it's higher. There we go. Ooh. Dwell or strut? What the hell is that? It's heavy though. It's not worth much. I'll leave it in there for now. I don't know what the fuck it's it, fuck it is, but uh, yeah. We'll leave it in for just now, and uh, we'll come back for it later when I know what the hell it is. Yay! It's a lock picking book. Some thieves can't read. If you can't read, get someone to read this book f to you. It will make more sense then. Yeah. Yeah, that, that'll help. If you can't read, get someone to read this book for you. Because the person who can't read can read that paragraph 
to understand to get the person to read it for them. That's exactly what they'll do. Um... I don't want a fucking tankard. What the hell do I want? Where is everybody? They're all sleeping. Oh my god, you're sleepy heads! Where's this go? The ragged flagon. A flagger. 